Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Amit Dubey. I'm a coach, soft skills and behavioral trainer, speaker and lecturer. Today, we're going to learn something that will be highly beneficial for you. Something that will actually help you climb the ladder of success in your professional life. What's that? I will come to the topic exactly what the topic is. I'll tell you in a bit. But before that, I want you to think about something. Just listen to me and just think about it. What do we value a lot? What do we think are the key, key aspects if we want to uh, do well in our professional life, in our, in, our, in our career? I think a lot of us would actually think it is talent. Well, I agree with it. And a lot, a lot of us would think it is hard work. I agree with them. And a few of us will think that it's hard work as well as talent. Well, I agree with these guys as well. But your hard work, your talent is important. It's very important, I understand. But it will take us only to a certain level. Yes, it will take us only to a certain level. After that, after that, if you want to reach to the top, if you want to reach where, where Barack Obama is, where Narendra Modi is, where Sachin Tendulkar is, where Tiger Woods is, where Muhammad Ali was, in that case, we will need something or certain things rather which are more important than talent and hard work also. What are these things? One, your attitude will matter a lot. Two, what else do you think it is? It's going to be your behavior. Three, it's going to be how you treat people. Are you courteous? Are you polite? Do people like to be around you? Do you treat them well? These are the things that are absolutely important and then they will take you from this level to the next level. So talent and hard work will take you only to one level and after that, it will take you to the other next level. So, which brings me to my topic today, which is very important in your professional life. It will really help you and that topic that we're going to learn today is business etiquette. Now you might want to know what all will we cover in this session under the title business etiquette. Number one, we will learn business and social etiquette. How are you supposed to behave? What are the manners that you keep in mind that you need to keep in mind when you deal in a business environment, in a social environment? Next is grooming and attire. Now, there is no discount on this. <laughs> you, this, It's a prerequisite, okay? Grooming and your attire. These two things go hand in hand and they will help you a lot in order to make the right, the impactful first impression. Next, you're going to learn personal etiquette, which is how do you conduct yourself? What are the things that you need to keep in mind? Office etiquette, and then we'll learn connecting and meeting etiquette. Now, these things will actually help you a lot. They will separate you from others because not everybody goes the extra mile. So, what else? We will also have social and dining etiquette. Now, we live in a world of networking and we need... To learn this, you will go out with your clients, with your colleagues, with your seniors, with your subordinates for lunch and for, for dinner and for breakfast. In that case, you will need to know the dining etiquette as well. So, let's begin. Now, we start with what really is a business etiquette? What really is the definition of business etiquette? Now, business etiquette is a set of manners that is accepted or required in a professional. Read it very carefully. Something which is accepted or required in a profession. You see that? That means it's a prerequisite. You need to know it. I'll tell you, in, in a lot of international markets in, in countries like Japan, if you do not take care of your manners and etiquette, you cannot do business there. You cannot do business there. They observe you first and then they decide if they want to give you business or no. So that is why it says that it is required in a profession. Now, in a, in a layman's term, let me tell you, now that was a, a very textual uh, or definition, theoretical. In a layman's term, etiquette basically means behaving yourself a little better than absolutely essential. Behaving yourself a little better than absolutely essential. You see, I use a phrase, going the extra mile. That's what it is. That's what actually the life is all about. Just doing a little bit extra. That that gives you an edge over the others, that takes you from this level to next level, 
where everybody is doing is is just doing fine you're doing excellent and that will separate you from the crowd and so is the case with etiquette these are manners this is the way you the good etiquette is basically when you behave a little better than the others all right so what's the benefit of etiquette what really is the benefit now it gives professional tools to impress clients and colleagues you see when you go the extra mile everybody would like it everybody would appreciate it and that's what one of the key advantages of practicing business etiquette plus uh, it puts it, it puts others at ease and they will be comfortable around you okay and that's very important because people should like you people should like to be around you and that will happen only when you make them comfortable and etiquette plays a very important role in making them comfortable all right so let's understand the difference between social and business etiquette now social etiquette basically is marked by courtesy okay in a society we've been taught from the time we are in school that you, we need to behave in a certain way we need to be kind we need to be polite we need to be courteous do you understand that so basically that is what we need to keep in mind that in social etiquette it is majorly marked by courtesy and we are seen as good or not so good guys or girls depending on how courteous we are and how well we behave second point is it is marked by by gender meaning gender plays uh, important role so basically we have this unwritten rules right when the the men are supposed to do this and it's their responsibility and the ladies are supposed to do this and it is their responsibility now let's come to business etiquette now let's see the difference okay let's see the contrast what's the difference so in business etiquette what really happens is it is marked first point it is marked by hierarchy and power and not by anything else did you understand that point it is marked by hierarchy and power so uh, you need to give respect actually you need to give respect to everyone but still, you know, you need to learn to behave, you know, properly and the etiquette is required, the manners are required basically when you deal with people, let's say your CEO, the way you behave with your subordinates and the way you behave with your colleagues, it'll be absolutely different. Your level of etiquette and manners will be completely different and you will be expected to have high standards, right, dealing with someone in power, like your CEO, like your manager, like who, like who, the head of department, anybody. And also in business etiquette, gender has no role. Now you might wonder, uh, what am I saying? Gender has no role? Yes. I'm sure you realize that if there's a meeting, okay, there's a meeting, you will see that a girl will hold the door for a guy. How? Isn't it the fact that the guy has to open the door for the girl? Now that is right. Both these points are right. Now a guy will open a door if it's social etiquette in a society. But in business etiquette, in that scenario, it doesn't matter. Okay? So if 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 the if, if the person uh, who's based, let's say if there's a guy, if there's a man and he he his his hands are full, let's say he's got laptop, he's got books, and he's got stationery, he's got pen, and his both hands are packed. Now a girl will actually go ahead and open the door if she's around. It doesn't matter a guy does it or a girl there is you know gender it doesn't matter so gender here has no role in business etiquette everybody is equal grooming and attire now this is something that we cannot ignore you see we all believe and we really believe that first impressions are the ones that stay in our mind forever why do we get dressed very well when we go for an interview Obviously, because we want to create a good first impression on the impressionable minds of people. Isn't it the fact? So, you know, you, you can learn a lot about a person when he starts speaking. Or you can learn a lot about a person when you see him working. You will understand the talent that he has if he's hardworking or if he's not hardworking. But that is, that will only happen once you be with that person. But just when the person arrives you still you still will form an opinion about that person because our mind works that way now if you want and if that person is you if you want to make a powerful impression in that case you have to understand that what you wear is very important and how you carry how you groom yourself is also equally important 
Now we'll understand what are what is the right attire for men, for ladies, and uh, what should you wear, what kind of tie, or what kind of uh, formal clothes, or what kind of dressing that we need to know uh, when we come when we when we come dressed on a Saturday. Let's say if your office is working on Saturday, we'll understand all of that. But for now, let's 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 come to an agreement that grooming in attire. These are two important things. They go hand in hand, and you need to make sure that you take care of yourself and that she look presentable. How? Grooming is one important aspect. All right, what's next? Posting an etiquette. Now, as you can see in this slide, look at them. You see, do you think that you would ever want to shake hands with these guys if you ever met them and if you ever see them doing this? It does not look good, all right? So, I'm, I understand that sometimes you have to itch and you, sometimes you have to do certain things, but there is a way to do it. We'll learn these things in a bit, but understand that personal etiquette is this. And if you don't take care of your of your uh, of of yourself, and if you don't keep personal etiquette in mind, people will not like you, and they would want to stay away from you. And that's the last thing you want. You want people to come to you and not shy away. All right. Okay. Now, office etiquette. Office etiquette is basically the etiquette that you need to know, the manners that you need to know, some unwritten rules that you need to know to exist peacefully and to exist nicely with your colleagues. Okay, so now if you look at the picture, see what is this guy doing? So basically he's trying to uh, hear the conversation that is happening, uh, person conversation that's happening with the lady there. It isn't right. And I think a lot of us do that. We all want gossip. A lot of us want gossip. And that's why we get attracted to these things. But then understand that it's not right. Please protect your image. People don't like such people. Imagine if that girl sees him doing it. Would, would she like it? She will not. She will form an opinion about him and, and she will make a judgment about, about him. And then it will never change. Even if you change, even if that guy changes, but still that judgment will stick in our mind forever. That's why we need to, to understand these things as well. Next point is basic phone etiquette. Now what happens here is we actually learn a lot about behaving right from the school days or in a lot of training programs it's being taught, taught to us that you know how your behavior should be and you shouldn't be too angry and you shouldn't you shouldn't react a lot uh, and you shouldn't snap at others yes but it's also important that you do these things even on phone you're not supposed to react you're not supposed to yell you need to keep your personal feelings of frustration of personal feelings of anger personal feelings of of feeling very very excited away from your business card all right so telephone etiquette is equally important and connecting and meeting etiquette so this is basically this involves how we have to be and what are the things that we need to take care in an environment which is wherein it in wherein it involves a meeting where it involves connecting with people okay now social and dining etiquette if you look at this picture, do you think that you would ever want to be around with a guy like this? It doesn't portray the right image, does it? You see, I know this picture is a little exaggerated version, but in real life, I have seen so many people who when they have a dinner or when they, when they go for marriages, their plate is like stuffed and filled. It doesn't look good. And, and, and they have no control over, over, over what they drink. So, you know, we need, so they say that your respect is in your hands. People will respect you or no, it will not be decided by them. It will be decided by you. You need to learn to respect yourself first. And that you will do if you practice etiquette. All right. Now, let's, let's understand one more thing about etiquette. You see, it might surprise you, but it's a fact that etiquette is not the same everywhere. It's not the same everywhere. Now, you might think, what is he saying? But it's, it's a fact. You see, what is right in one part of the world may not be right in the other part of the world or may not be accepted. It varies from cultures to culture. It varies from countries to countries as well. Now, let me give an example. This will clear this point further. 
In a lot of cultures, it is actually okay to stand very close, even in a business environment. Generally, this, if, if, you, if somebody is standing this close to you, now that's your personal space and only your family members or your very, very close people can stand this close to us. Generally, in let's say in our Indian culture, people don't say stay so close unless they are like real, your close people. Okay, your family, your relatives, uh, your very, very close friends, your partner, spouse. But in a lot of cultures, it is okay to stand so close. Now, we might, uh, let's say you might not be very comfortable if your boss stands so close or if your subordinate stands so close to you. We might just step back. But then in a lot of cultures, like I said, it's okay. So for them, that's all right. But for us, that may not be all right. And we might just get a little uncomfortable. So imagine if a person from that culture meets a, a, a person from, from our culture and then that's going to be... You know, kind of, he might just un get uncomfortable and the other person might think, why is he actually running away? <laughs> so you see, that's what I mean when I say that the etiquette is not the same everywhere.